Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Bams. I just wanted to come on here and give you guys an update with my life. Um, I got a new job. I don't even know what's called it. I opened up my new business. How about that? I opened up my new business. So I have a business now. It's called Bams Transit. And I lease this van here. Um, I lease it on a on a weekly basis. And then um, it's a wheelchair accessible van. I have a ramp right here. And so what I do is I go around and I'm actually contracted with Uber. And um, so I, I do it through the Uber app. And um, so people who need wheelchair vans uh, ring through Uber and, and I go pick them up and take them where they need to go. They could be coming from the airport, they could be coming from the bar, they could be coming from their house, going to their girlfriend's house, going to a doctor's appointment. It don't matter where they're going, I gotta go pick them up. Um, some people, some people ring the wheelchair van, um, but they don't really have a wheelchair. It's either, I think it's because it's cheapest on the Uber, and then also, um, uh, sometimes they just need the space. It's really spacey, there's no second row. There's just a back row and then room for this ramp um, to go outwards. And then this whole space right here behind me is for wheelchair riders. Um, this is quite different than a regular nine to five um, because, because I opened up an LLC and put this in my name and have contracts with um, Big Star, they're the one who actually recruited me and um, got me into this. It's just kind of confusing. It's not a program. They just had the training set up. They told me what to do. They told me how I'll be getting paid. They just told me. Um, they yeah. They just gave me some training on how to uh, deal with people with disability and their expectations as a, me as a driver but I don't have a boss I do have people I can report to for when I need some help um, but I don't really have a boss I am my own boss I I I decided they did give me some options on what schedule I would like to work which they said from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. or 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. overnight and which is a 12-hour shift um, I decided that, you know I'm, I'm 40 and I have never worked a night shift and I think it might work with my children going back to school I do have my oldest daughter at the house with me and we pair up to make sure everything in the household needs to be done along with my middle child and my youngest child but I'm just talking about like picking up from school and stuff um, we do have a schedule and a routine now this this is so different for me I have I'm still I'm still at all but um, I don't even remember what I was saying but oh yeah they gave me a schedule I decided to work night shift so basically I go at 6 30 p.m. I go where my man is sitting um, which is like 15 minutes away from my house. I drop off my personal vehicle. I get into this van. And then at 6 o'clock or maybe 10 minutes before 6 o'clock or um, I haven't been late before yet. So 6 o'clock I clock on to Uber driver app and I wait for people to ring the... Um, I, I, I will sit around and I wait for people that need wheelchair accessible vehicle. Um, there's, there's some gaps in between calls and in between calls, I just, I can park anywhere I want to, but usually I actually go home and park in front of my house. It feels like I'm cheating or something. It's just a little bit too unreal, um, because it's so simple and easy. And I think it's because I came from a job where... You know, I, I just was a supervisor of 60 people. So, six, 60 people is a lot to take care of. And I'm not in charge of no one. And nobody is hovering over my shoulders, like managers or anything like that. So, it's an unknown territory for me. But, 
believe it or not, this job that I just started is actually something that I've been praying for for a long time. Um, I feel a lot free. I feel free. Um, it's up to me how much money I want to make. Um, but be because these contracts that I have signed, I'm not getting paid per ride. I'm getting paid per hour. Um, and I believe because because this is now my own business if you open up a business you don't get taxed because it's just your business so my paychecks are a lot bigger but you also have to take in consideration because you're not being taxed that when the tax when tax season come around you're going to have to most likely pay so you need to make sure you save that money aside um, and then um Yeah, it's been hard for me. I'm I'm still at all. It's still an uh, unknown territory for me. Um, sit so I sit around. Um, sometimes in the middle of the night, just in the dark, waiting for people to ring. Um, I do my my calls have been picking up. Like when I first started this job, I only got like one to two uh, rings during the whole 12 hour shift that I was working um my double chin we're working on that too um but it's starting to pick up I think people are starting to get the idea of that there is a service out there that picks up wheelchair because I now I'm getting a lot of people coming from the airport who needs the room for their bags and also, I got a call from Best Buy once, and he needed the room for a TV. And then also, I believe we're just the cheapest uh, service out there at the time. So, um, yeah, so now I'm doing like two to four rides per night. Um, people sometimes, they, like for example, tonight, we have WWE is in town. WWE Wrestling is in town. So I'm quite sure I'm probably going to get a ring from there. It should be letting out within the next hour or so. And right now, I'm actually parked in front of my house. Um, it's comfortable here because I feel like I'm not away from my children. You know what I'm saying? I, I, have, I, I feel close to my children. I can go inside there and check on them. I can use the restroom, fix myself some water. I mean, I try to have dinner ready before I start. But if it was something easy and I didn't have enough time, I could throw something together real quick. You know what I'm saying? I have the time. As long as I keep my app open and available to... Um, Accept rides, which the app is an automatic accept. So I don't. It don't matter who ring for me. I have to take them, no matter where they're coming from, and no matter where they're going. Because one time I had a customer, and they had me go all the way down to the to um, Dallas, Oregon, and that was about an hour and a half out. Like I me on a regular basis I don't even drive 30 minutes out from where I'm at so that was an adventure for me um I've been to many places where I haven't where I've never been before parts of Portland I have never been um so it's like an adventure every single day and then also with sometimes my calls that night I'd be driving places that I've never been before and it'd be so beautiful with the lights all lit up. It just... And then with me working at night at 6 p.m. to 6 a.m., I'm seeing the sun set every night and I'm seeing the sun rise every morning. It's so gorgeous. Like, I have a lot of free time on my hands. I'm around my children. I'm looking at beautiful things. I'm getting paid a good amount. Um... Everything is good, and I have no complaints. And on top of that, I have so much time on my hands, I've been reading books. So, 
I currently have three books to read, but I'm quite sure I'm going to need some suggestions on any good books recommendations. So if you do, go ahead and comment down below. Um, now that I think about it, I don't think I applied for this job. I think they reached out to me. Um, I got hired with three other gentlemen. Um, so I work Monday through Thursday at night. I have a gentleman that works Monday through Thursday during the day. And then on our off days, it's another two set of people that works during the day and night. Um, it's really hard for me to think of this as my business because this never was in my plans. But at the same time, it was because who don't want to open their own business and make their own money? Um, you know, it was always a thought in the background, but the way this thing played out, it was like part of the instructions to do, go get your LLC, name your business. Um, I have to, you know, once I be on the clock and they start paying me, it's open up a business account, pay me through my business account. Um, <laughs> is, yeah, so... This, this is who I am now. I'm a driver. I'm a driver. I'm not a supervisor. I'm not a dispatcher. I'm not a clerk. Um, these are things that I was in the past. It was a lot of labor. It was a lot of brain work. It was a lot of physical activity. Um, I'm, I am getting older. I do still need my physical activity. But, you know, sometimes you just don't want to wake up, go to work, and do all that stuff. I just I I'm, I I feel like I manifested this job, you guys. I'm quite sure I manifested this job. I asked God, I asked the universe to just bring me something to ease my mind, body, and soul. That's good for my children. That makes good enough money. That's just just the right amount of work, just the right amount of pay, just to keep me happy and at peace. And boom, this happened. Um. I had quit my last job, just in case you didn't know, I quit my last job because the, um, my manager's manager, uh, you know, you know how the bit higher ups act. They don't really know how to work the in, the, you know, the inside, they just know how to be in the office and stuff. So it was a lot of pressure on my manager and my manager ended up quitting, um, and then next thing you know, all the pressure, I'm, I was supervisor, so all the pressure came on me. And my manager's manager started yelling at me. And I'm like, wait, whoa, 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 I am not the girl. I'm not the girl to be talking to me, to be talking to me like that. You can't talk to me like that and expect me to um, behave correctly or, you know, I don't, I can't stay there. That's a hostile environment. That's not good for my brain. That's not good for my heart. That's not good for my soul. Um, yeah, so I, I ended up quitting. He, he told me that, um, I need to do a better job and all that stuff. And I'm like, wait, I'm the, only, I'm the glue that's holding everything up around here. Do you understand that? How are you talking to me like that? You don't know who I am. You don't know the role I play. You, you're losing, you're going to lose a good thing because, baby, I was the glue to that place, all right? Um, yeah, so I had, I had quit my last job and I put myself in God's hands, 100% in God's trust. I, I walked by faith. It was, it was all him. It was all God. I said, God, I... I, I surrender to you. I I give you my, my my body and soul. Please make me think correctly. Please let me allow me to walk the way you want me to walk. Um, and and then boom, I, I'm here and I'm completely content. I feel like I'm at peace and I I just wanted to reach out to you guys and touch bases on my life now. Um, I would love to continue making YouTube videos. I just don't know how to. Um, incorporate this driving situation into my channel. I don't know if I should, because I'm still am. I'm on one of weight loss journeys. So I don't know if I should turn my channel into weight loss. What I would love to do is tell my stories of all my passengers. Because let me tell you, 
I got some crazy passengers. Each of them have a cute little story. They're not crazy. They're just very interesting stories. Um, the the light, the daylight is going away, guys. So I'm going to have to sum up this video. But please, you guys, comment down below what kind of things you would like to see in this on my channel. This was a mukbang channel, but I'm not eating that much anymore. Um, then I went to a lifestyle vlog. But... A lot of my lifestyle is my children and in driving so I don't know how to incorporate that um, I don't know I like to do some sit-down videos and tell you about all my customers in my day maybe like vlog throughout the day and tell you about each one of my rides and kind of like see how I go in and out the house um, to take care of things or maybe even the books that I'm reading talk to you about it I read I read two whole books now I'm not a reader I am not a reader but <laughs> I read two whole books and that's my third one. Oh my god and then I got two more I have purchased from Barnes and Nobles and I'm currently sitting in my van right now I mean obviously I'm sitting in my van right now and the, and the lights going down and I'm quite sure I'm gonna get a call soon but it's already been about um, 17 minutes so far that I've been chilling. Um, I think I should get off the phone now. I'm recording with my new phone. Um, but I should, I think I should let this video go. You guys, comment, like, comment, like, and subscribe to this video. If you have any questions, comment down below. And until next time, bye.